In this video, we're going to explore construction bonds, the different types of bonds available, and the purpose they serve throughout a construction project. Before we begin, we'd like to thank you all for the support you give us on our videos. It's massively appreciated. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider clicking the like button. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you see our new uploads every Wednesday. This topic was requested by Hello It's Dom. If you have a topic you would like covered, let us know in the comments. We consider all ideas put forward. So what is a construction bond? Put simply, a construction bond provides protection to the client against the non-performance of a contractor. There are three parties involved in a construction bond. The client, the contractor, and a bondsman slash surety. The bondsman or surety takes responsibility for the contractor's obligations by signing a bond. The bondsman is then obliged to pay the client upon certain criteria being met. It should be noted that under English law, there is an important difference between a bond and a guarantee. Some bonds, commonly used in construction, are actually considered guarantees under English law. In a construction context, a bond does not require the employer to establish a breach under a building contract to obtain an agreed sum in a bond. However, this is required under a guarantee. Construction bonds can be split into two categories, on-demand bonds, i.e. primary obligations, and conditional bonds, i.e. secondary obligations. With on-demand bonds, the bondsman pays out an amount set out in the bond immediately without needing to establish the contractor's liability unless the demand is fraudulent. On-demand bonds are more common in international projects and are seldom used in UK projects. Conditional bonds are only paid out provided certain contractual conditions have been fulfilled, usually insolvency or breach of contract by a contractor. As you can see, on-demand bonds are more akin to what English law defines as bond and conditional bonds are more akin to what English law defines as a guarantee. However, for the purpose of this video, and to keep in line with commonly used terminology, we will use both bond and guarantee synonymously. So what are the different types of bonds available? In this video, we're going to look at seven different types of construction bonds. Performance bond, tender bond or bid bond, retention bond, off-site materials bond, advanced payment bond, defects liability bond, and adjudication bond. So to start off, we have performance bond. A performance bond can be seen as an insurance, protecting the client against the contractor failing to fulfill contract obligations. Usually set at 10%, this type of bond ensures the client has the funds to overcome the issues caused by non-performance of the contractor. For example, the cost to find a new contractor to complete the works. Next we have tender bond or bid bond. The purpose of a tender bond is to discourage the bidder from abusing the bidding process. The tender bond is submitted with a tender and ensures the contractor's commitment to start a project. The downside to this bond is it may discourage smaller companies from tendering for the works. Retention bond. We actually have a video about retention on our channel, which we've left a link to in the description. However, to put briefly, a retention bond is a percentage, usually 5%, of the amount certified due to a contractor on an interim certificate that is retained by the client. The purpose is to create a financial incentive for the contractor to complete the work successfully and provides as a protection to the project stakeholders in the event of problems, i.e. the retained money can be used as an insulation for that risk. Advanced Payment Bond Advanced Payment Bond is used when, you guessed it, Advanced payment is made for construction goods or services. Sometimes in construction, advanced payment is made when contractors incur significant startup costs for providing goods or service. This bond protects the employer in case something goes wrong with the execution of service or goods received. Off-site material bond. This is like the advanced payment bond. Sometimes the contractor pays for materials before it is delivered to site. This bond is used to protect the program against delays. Defects Liability Bond. 
This bond is tied to the defect liability period, usually lasting 12 months after practical completion. This bond ensures the contractor provides a service correcting any defects apparent after completion of works. And finally, we have adjudication bond. Adjudication is the process for swift dispute resolution. Adjudication bonds are contractual bonds which require the bondsman to pay out based on an adjudicator's decision. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.